Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now in the last video, which was meant to kind of be a one-off, but then I decided I wanted to change this guy back to the full Batman look. In the last video, I had these three displayed together. I just thought it needed to be seen. It's a very impressive, uh, you know, trilogy of, uh, well, a trilogy, the film, a trilogy of figures so far, unless Hot Toys make another one. Uh, it would certainly be interesting to see a Bane in quarter scale. I doubt that's going to happen, but imagine that. That would be incredible. I, you know, I wouldn't say no to a Selena Kyle, you know, in quarter scale. That would be amazing. Again, not going to happen. Or a Ra's al Ghul or a Scarecrow. Definitely not going to happen. But anyway, at least we have the Batman Begins suit, the Heath Ledger Joker, and the Dark Knight suit. So in that first video that just went up, he was in his first night outlook with the ski mask and the harness. So I wanted to uh, shoot another one for the full Batman look. Before I change the Dark Knight figure to his Hong Kong scene look, uh, I just thought I'd show them, well, at least both the Batman figures completely Batmaned out to the max with capes, cowls, the whole deal. I just think it looks absolutely spectacular. So I will pause the video in a moment and I'll change the Dark Knight, change his look. But just before I do, just soak it up. If you guys can spot, and I'm very conscious of things like dust, believe it or not, this room doesn't get very dusty at all. Now, if you look over on the shelf there, you will probably see a nasty layer of dust. It's not actually dust, it's debris from a custom uh, job I was doing on one of my Michael Myers head sculpts. I had to get a rotary tool, a Dremel, and uh, drill the hell out of it. And it created this big cloud of uh, debris so it's not actually dust, it's just um, Michael Myers head sculpt shrapnel. So I need to go around and uh, clean that up. So I don't want you guys to think that I you know, let my collection room get dusty. I do get asked about the, the dusty situation quite a lot. Um, but I really uh, don't get much of a dust issue going on in this room because this is a collection room. I don't stay in here for long periods of time. You know, where people tend to hang out a lot like living rooms, bedrooms, you will tend to get more dust in those rooms. And because I only come in here to film and just to chill out sometimes and just enjoy the collection, uh, it doesn't actually get too dusty in here. But we are due a bit of a spring cleaning session, to be honest. I need to go around with my little uh, feather duster, which is what I use, and uh, obviously like a cloth for the shelves. But uh, yeah, we, we are due uh, a nice spruce around the collection room, making everything uh, look nice and fresh. So let's just soak this one up, man. I really, really... I think this figure is a masterpiece. Now, again, that is my favorite suit ever made. I love the Batman Begins suit, but this figure is a masterpiece. He had everything. Hot Toys went all out with this one. You had the uh, the moving eyes, interchangeable mouth plates, three heads. So two Batman cowls, one with moving eyes, one with sonar light up eyes, and the Bruce Wayne sculpt. Uh, the backpack from the Hong Kong scene, the sticky bong gun, the. Uh, Oh, what was that gun he used? I forget the technical name now. The EMP, was it? Uh, in The Dark Knight Rises, when he first comes back and he's in the tunnel and the lights go out and he shoots that uh, electromagnetic uh, pulse or whatever that uh, takes out all the lights. He came with everything, man. Really, really, just an impressive... Can't stress it enough. It really is a masterpiece of a figure. I haven't really got any complaints with this one. You know, credit where it's due. They uh, took what they'd learnt from past um, attempts at this suit, and they finally absolutely nailed it. And then they nailed it again in one six scale with the Armoury version, which I've never seen in person, but I'm sure it's just basically a shrunk-down version of this guy. And most recent, the Joker. Absolutely uh, loving it at the moment, you know, despite... you got to bear in mind, like I said, the harsh 5 out of 10 score I gave this in the review. That was purely down to what we've come to expect from uh, the Heath Ledger Joker figures from Hot Toys, especially in quarter scale, the first time they've done this. You know, taking away the moving eyes, not attempting uh, the rooted hair, just sticking with the sculpted hair look. I'm getting used to the hair now. Uh, actually, uh, don't mind it so much anymore. Uh, not even the top and the middle. It doesn't really seem to bother me. I just, I just like it. I think it looks good. The purple coat again, not an accurate color, but this camera does make it look brighter than it actually is. Like right now, it's just changed to more of an accurate kind of color. But when I move the camera around, it gets brighter and darker. So uh, I guess you really have to see that in person to know what I'm talking about. Now, so he's all Batmaned out to the max, and I've got the Jackson XU custom cape, which is really nice and smooth. Uh, it just hangs beautifully behind him, very close to what they used in the film. Um, it's a weird 
kind of combination. What you'd want for a movie accurate cape would be this material from uh, Jackson XU uh, for the inside look of the cape. Uh, but from the outside, it's got the more animalistic velvety look. They actually, you know, injected hairs into a kind of parachute silk in the movie to give it that animalistic kind of look on the outside. So absolutely awesome stuff. And Hot Toys really did nail the beastly thick cowl on the Batman Begins suit. I just wanted him to hold some, you know, very Batman Begins moments uh, kind of accessories. So you got the Bat Summoner there. Absolutely awesome that it came with that. That's actually got moving parts on it. A tiny little accessory like that with moving parts. And his grapnel gun. Now, I remember when I reviewed this, the really, you know, again, just like the Joker stand, I had to replace uh, for a completely different type of stand to hold him in place. They gave you a groin grabber just like this one, but he just doesn't stand up with it and his shoes turn up at the front, so he's got no stability and balance on his feet. So I had to switch that out to a waist grabbing uh, stand instead. So that's grabbing his waist now keeping him secure but the issue with this one another groin grabber uh, for the batman begins and that actually rubs off the uh, the groin section of the rubber suit and you can see how it's marking the suit so you know again covered that in the review so they've all got their own individual reviews on the channel now i don't think i actually did back in the day when i first got this i don't think i was doing uh, reviews as much as i am now Back then, I was still focusing mainly on the photography side of things and doing showcase videos and a bit of stop motion every now and then. Just really enjoying the uh, the stuff you're able to do with these figures. So I did review him. That's on the channel. But as far as an unboxing for this guy, don't think I actually did that. But both of these ones do. They've got all the, uh, the full treatment. I'll just let you see this thing as I'm changing it out. I've uh, put on the backpack there. Haven't changed out the head yet because I wanted to see him with the uh, the eyes in there and pretty much the uh, full look from the Hong Kong jump scene. I will show you how it looks with the Bruce Wayne head. But that looks really epic and awesome. So I might actually display him in this look for a little while. It's been a while since I've rocked the Hong Kong scene look. And here is the awesome Bruce Wayne sculpt. This is actually from The Dark Knight Rises. But it was great because it's from The Dark Knight Rises, the nameplate says there. They give you everything from that movie and everything you'd need to rock him as the Dark Knight version. So it was really, really cool. Let me just go ahead and pop this head on. But really great likeness. They gave you the Bruce Wayne head that you saw in part one with Batman Begins as well when I had him decked out as the first night outlook. And there he is, all complete, even holding the cowl. Now, I remember the exclusive version of this guy did come with an empty cowl, which would have been ideal for displaying him in this exact look we've got going on here with the, you know, the whole Hong Kong vibe. Now, I've just taken out the mouth plate and sort of turned it away so you can't see the eyes in the cowl. So from the front view, um, just about make them out of there. So you'd have to angle it just right, or maybe just turn the cowl the other way around altogether. But it would have been cool to get the uh, the empty cowl, but I ended up just getting the regular version. Didn't seem like it was really worth spending the extra just to get the uh, the empty mask. However, yeah, that would have been cool. There's no doubt about it. But there they are now. With the looks all changed up now. I think yeah, you'll have to forgive me for um for not changing the pose on the Joker, but I'm sure he still looks fine. There they are all together. I'm having to lean back as far as I possibly can. So if my voice sounds a little bit strained, it's because I'm in a very strange position in order to get this all in frame. Uh, couldn't be closer to the re uh, to the window right now. Oh, and my chair is squeaking. But yeah, I'm right up against the window. So, hey. Shout out to Glenn Page. He's uh, working on my 1-6 scale diorama, which you guys are going to love because it's going to mean there's going to be a whole lot of cool photography going on soon big one six scale grimy alleyway for all the gotham figures and anyone else who wants to uh be in the videos but that is how that looks had to share it with you so you've got a two-part little you know quarter scale collection set of videos to enjoy and yeah which one's my favorite oh, jesus i don't know <laughs> i don't know I mean, technically, that's my favorite suit for all time. Really starting to forgive a lot of things about the Joker and just enjoy having it now. It's a very cool looking piece. That is a masterpiece. I don't know. Maybe that's a video for another time. I couldn't tell you right now. But thanks for watching. 
Like, share, subscribe. See you later. Take it easy. Bye-bye.